to say, um, what do we know that we can say to our friends to say, well, you know, we know our favorite, we just we died. You, you could say that um, in New York, the only time you're not permitted to walk away from a police officer is when they have evidence of a misdemeanor or felony. Otherwise, we all have a right to be left alone by the government. You know, that's the Fourth Amendment. Essentially, is we get to be left alone. We get to enjoy our privacy, our freedom of movement. And uh, in this case, even in the light most favorable to the police, to the district attorney, um, uh, they're only suspecting him of, having, of violating an open container city ordinance. It's a violation. It's not a misdemeanor or a felony. So even if any one of us, including Adrian, walks away, you're allowed to walk away and the police have to let it go with that because it's not a crime. It's not a misdemeanor or a felony. We have a right to be left alone. If they want to issue him a ticket for open container, you say, hold on, Mr. Barnett, here's your ticket. It's not, let me see some ID. They have no right to ask for ID. They have no right to ask for identification. They can give him a ticket. He can tell them his name, which Adrian did. Um, and if they want to give him a summons, great. But so I would suggest that you tell people that the Kingston police, you know, we need citizens out here to shine a light on this case, to bring attention to this case. And it's also uh, to educate the Kingston police. It's hard for the rank and file police to be familiar with all the constitutional decisions in the courts. Lawyers can disagree over that. So one way, unfortunately, that police departments are educated in how to conduct their uh, uh, enforcement work is through cases like this. So it's important that we all come out and support if we want all our rights protected, because if not, for the grace of God, next time, it's not Adrian, it's any one of us. Mr. Sosover, um, I, I don't understand why it's so difficult for a sympathetic police chief to produce the videos. What, what time, I mean, I know something about the technology involved, there's no, objective reason that I know why those videos can't be produced immediately. What's uh, your own thing? I, I don't disagree with that assessment. Um, it's a little bit of a mystery why we haven't been provided them already. Uh, so, uh, but the district attorney has the right to request more time. The judge granted it and that time is being charged to the district attorney. We all have a constitutional right to a speedy trial. And if they take too much time, the judge has options available to him to enforce the law. That could be precluding the district attorney from introducing any evidence that is on video or on audio. He could dismiss the charges against Adrian. There's a lot of tools available to the court. But at this point, um, the resisting arrest is a misdemeanor. The district attorney has to be ready within 90 days and comply with discovery demands. So far, they haven't done it. But it's a very good question that the district attorney should be asking the Kingston Police Department is, where is the videos already? Can we assume good faith between the district attorney and the police department? I, I would like to presume, but I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. I'm not party to those conversations. Thank you. Thank you. So what happens now? Uh, we adjourned it to September 12th for the balance of the discovery demands to be complied with. Hopefully we get the videos on that day. Yeah. So what was the arrest for that one it's alleged that he failed to put his hands behind his back when ordered to by the police. And that's what you Well, if you resist the right, yeah, anything. But I'm just being arrested for something? Correct. And that's why a defense to resisting arrest is that the arrest itself was not lawful. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so very much. much. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you everyone for coming out and we'll definitely keep you all in the loop. We are uh, meeting with uh, Mayor Noble as well.
uh, later today to uh, find out where you know he stands and and uh, we'll definitely keep you all updated please just make sure you signed in we've got we've got a we've got a team there thank you did you a little while ago say that if the, if the